Shalom, all praises to you. Howl Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Mokar Kodash. Double honors to the elders. Right. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Who well, peace, blessings, salutations to you, Lord. Hopefully, like Akim doing his work throughout the four corners of the earth, doing it, doing this thing in truth and sincerity to the best as we can. Uh, waking up the hopeful elect. Okay. Uh, to, to, to escape out of this place in that hope uh, uh, in hoping of the new uh, second coming of the Lord okay that second you know the second coming which uh, a lot not a lot of people believe in but in the men of the Lord we're continuing and preaching that the same thing we see we're going to keep preaching the same thing and same thing I know it sounds repetitive but uh, hey, the truth the scriptures, the actual Bible, is repetitive. You know, when we go into it, and I want to do this lesson because, uh, you know, being that time is rapidly speeding up, and, and uh, uh, things are happening on a grand scale. You know, more and more, you see that you know, for one, America is going to be destroyed, and our salvation is going to be near, man. So, you know, we see this close happening sooner than later. Oh, man. Let's put this but, uh, slog gear. You know, we see this thing happening man, sooner than later. Okay. Uh, you know, and with that, man, we're still keeping a positive uh, mind state. You know, in a negative world, we're still <clears throat> keeping a uh, positive, most positive mind state that we can in this place. You know, uh, our outlook, you know, that we have hope. This is Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Okay, so it's a high time to wake out of sleep. Because I believe a brother was going into it today. You know, how, uh, speaking how, like, yeah, uh, people are, you know, the average person, they're, they're awake, you know, they're walking, they're talking, they're wearing clothes, and, uh, they get to, breathe and go out and work and do all the function but uh, at the same time they're still asleep they're not fully conscious they're just in their own haze you know you see a lot of people are just in a daze or uh, you know in a, in, a, in a dull state of mind a lackadaisical state uh, sluggish you know, I see people recently, they're just sluggish. They're just real slow, man. And mainly you Negroes, Latinos, and the Native, uh, Native American Indians, you Israelites. You know, it's about high time. It's the highest time to wake up. It's the, you can see things clearer now. Uh, uh, why is that? Because you have uh, the internet, you have the prophets, you see. So now you can actually visualize uh, put it in uh, perspective of what time we living in and if you measure it the right way like I tell you in Ezra measure the time diligently uh, you can see that it's not we are not in the time of love we are not in the time of peace happiness and rejoicing it's everything but that it's a cold world so Hey, it's high time to understand what you need to be doing uh, in a world like this. Because this is literally hell. Not to be a negative person or a, I'm just being a realist, being calling it for what it is. Our people, you know, Jake, you know, Israelites were not, were in a bad, bad case, man. So it's, hey, it says for now it is our salvation nearer than we believed you know because 
once we see the prophecies come to pass, we know that salvation is close, you know. We see that salvation is close. The Lord lets kingdoms get to a certain apex, to a certain height, and then he brings it down. You know, he does he did that with in Egypt, he did that. He hardened Pharaoh's heart, made people proud, you know. Uh, Rome and all all these different Babylonian Empire Nebuchadnezzar he all uh, uh, he let it get to a certain point then he brings it down okay he doesn't let it continue on for forever and ever and we believe that our salvation is going to be coming because we see the prophecies but uh, uh, what's the prophecies uh, 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 the mark of the beast mark, microchip mainly race war, sedition, uh, anarchy, apocalypse, basically. The apocalypse is, is damn near here. You know, you have, uh, uh, you have, uh, uh, people, and you have our people fulfilling the curses, people in, in Venezuela feeling it, and it's coming to America, but you should ask, you should, you know, be concerned of what, you know, how you should, how, how everything's going to go for you when it does come. Instead of, you know, you know, getting on Jake down there and, and you know, rejoicing on what they're going through. But soon enough, it's going to come here. It's Habakkuk 2 and 3, Habakkuk 2 and 3. where well, the vision is, is yet for an appointed time, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Okay, you know, because a, a, a vision is set, you know, for a point in time. It, the vision is yet for an appointed time. And this kingdom is set for a point in time to fall, you know. Is everything set up, you know, in the spirit? You know, we thought this thing, you know, was going to come soon, soon. When we first joined, you know, brothers, when they first got into the camp and to the truth. When the Lord, you know, woke us up, you know, we wanted things to happen faster and faster. But we know the Lord is long suffering. But we understand that. You know, there's still prophecy to be fulfilled, and there's time for Jake to wake up and things to play out, okay? But the Heavenly Father uh, is gonna is on His clock. You see, the Heavenly Father is playing things out when He want, when He wants it to. You know, but we know it's not dragging. We know that things aren't just happening. Everything's happening around you, okay? There's a lot of things happening. You know, and spiritual man can can point it out and, and, and check and see what uh, 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 you know and, and map and uh, 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 filter it through the scriptures and match it up with the scriptures man it's not gonna tarry okay spirit of prophecy real quick you have to be in the spirit, uh, prophecy spirit. A man of tomorrow, if you will. We see the things coming down the pike. Revelation 19 and 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See that thou do it not, and thou and thy fellow servant and thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahusha, worship Yahusha, for the testimony of Yahusha is the spirit of pro prophecy. So the spirit uh, of the testimony is, a, is, a pro is a, it's the spirit of prophecy. And who goes in the prophecy? Uh, a great millstone. The apostles and elders on down. We, we, we hearken big on prophecy. 
you know, and you can use prophecy uh, to condemn these other philosophies out here. You ask people uh, what's coming, what's happening, going to happen in the future. They can't really give you a valid answer. And then the valid answer, it doesn't make sense. But the answer they have, you know, doesn't make sense lining up with the times that we're living in. The only thing that can really logically make sense is what uh, uh, what the brothers teach. You know, because we see all evil being prepared and all manner of uh, uh, obstacles we have to go through. And that's what we're telling people. But we telling you salvation is offered too. If you uh, 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 do this work and be diligent and believe in the Lord and pray and repent, you can be accounted uh, uh, to 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 be use that be set be saved with that salvation. You see, that's the best ticket. That's the best way. But most people want to do it their own way. They want to uh, have an ego about it. They don't want to uh, seem like man pleasers or whatever the case may be. But you have to understand that soon enough it's going to um, be too late for all that. you know. And it's almost too late now. If you can't understand, if you can't get the name Hell Shy and that this is the truth and it is running out. Time is running out and the doors of mercy is closing. You don't want to be that person, you know, still trying to figure it out. Although there's going to be last second believers, but you want to try to attempt, give it an attempt now if you if you care while, you, while you're young and able, you see. Uh, Lord willing, it is edifying all praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Wachakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you. Hopefully, like I can do in this work. Truth and sincerity. Shalom.